What's up guys, I'm TG23 here, and today I'm back with another video of Republic Wireless versus Project Fi. These two are uh, carriers, and they're the cheapest carriers in the United States right now. And so I will be giving you the pros and cons of each service so I can help you decide which one is best for you. So, so first up we have pricing. So for Republic Wireless, it's $10 for the base plan. And then $15 per gigabyte of LTE data, and then there's a no data option, and then you can get up to 3 gigabytes of data, which will run you $55, um, and refund for unused data. So that's pretty cool because let's say you pay for the 1 gigabyte plan, but you can only use half a gigabyte, instead of, uh, so you'll pay $25 at the beginning of the month. But then at the end of the month, for that half un uh, the half gig of unused data, you will get $7.50 back. Anyway, so on to Fi. Fi is $20 for the base and $10 per gigabyte of 4G LTE data. Um, you need at least one gig of data, so there's no uh, there's not a no data option, and so it would co it basically just costs you $30 for the base model. Um, up to 10 gigabytes of data. Also, they also have refunds but it'll be based on their $10 scale, so if you buy 2 gigabytes, you only use 1.5, you get paid $5 back. So let us move on to coverage. So for Republic Wireless, it uses Sprint and Wi-Fi hotspots. Coverage is okay overall, and I think in a city, like a relatively big city, you'll be perfectly fine, but definitely check the coverage map just to double check that you're covered. Now on to Fi's coverage. Fi uses Sprint and T-Mobile, as well as Wi-Fi hotspots. So it should be about the same as Republic Wireless, and it is, but it's also slightly better, better coverage, you know. Um, also, again, check the coverage map. So let's go into ease of use. So Fi is definitely easier and more simple than Republic Wireless. Republic Wireless, for me at least in my experience, I've had the issue where it has issues connecting to the Wi-Fi, so I'm not sure if that's just my phone or if it's the service, but I've used two Republic Wireless phones so far, and. I seem to have the same issue. Next is that whenever you turn off Wi-Fi, you always get this warning notification, even if you're on airplane mode, uh, and that's kind of annoying. I mean, you can turn off notifications, but they also can be helpful sometimes. So that's where it stands on these views. So speaking of these issues, this kind of easily flows into customer service. So customer service for Public Wireless and and Project Fi is relatively quick. Um, they both almost always solve your issue the first time. They also both are really uh, friendly customer support. Uh, so that's where customer support stands, so thumbs up for both of them. So the biggest con for both of these services is that you have a limited number of phone choices. So for Republic Wireless there are only three choices and those are the Moto X second generation, Moto G third generation, and Moto E second generation. Uh, these phones all have a near stock Android experience, which is very nice. Uh, they're all on running the Lollipop, um, and that's great. But you also have to buy them off contract from them. Uh, you can't buy it from eBay or get a discount unless they're running a discount, which they usually do have a like on the Moto X a hundred dollar discount eventually, like six months after the release. Um, so that's where that stands, but also updates are really slow to get because of their hybrid uh, Wi-Fi calling, which is why you have to buy it from them, because they make modifications to the phone so that it works with their hybrid system. So they have to optimize the software for it, and that takes a long, long time. Uh, next is Project 5. So Project 5, being made by Google, is uh, Nexus phone. So the options are the Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, and Nexus 5X. Uh, so all these phones, uh, stock Android, quick updates being made by Google, and uh, Fi being run by Google. Uh, also, you you have to buy them off contract, but you can uh, get a monthly uh, lease. So like you pay a monthly fee to pay for the phone. Uh, or you can buy it off Amazon or Google stores. You can get discounts on it, which is awesome because uh, you can get like a, if the Amazon's running a special or something, you can get like a hundred dollars off compared to playing full price, which is awesome compared to Republic Wireless. 
Also, uh, for the phones, if you want to check out a review for each of these phones, I would definitely recommend MKBHD. Great YouTuber. I'll have a link to his channel in one of these corners over here. Uh, but yeah, great channel, great reviews, thumbs up. Anyway, uh, so the final thing I kind of want to talk about is, before I get to what you should choose is my choice. So my choice is Republic Wireless. And just so you know, I have the Moto X second generation. Um, I choose the $10 uh, variant, which has no data, just unlimited uh, calling and texting over the, uh, over Sprint and uh, Wi-Fi. So I chose that because I don't need data, I don't use data, and also, uh, when I originally tried Fi Out, they only had the Nexus 6, which is way too big for me. I mean, I loved it, but way too big, so that's why I went with the Republic Wireless. Now to the big part of this whole entire video, what should you guys choose? Um, so it really just comes down to your needs and to what phone you want because they offer different phones and if you want the Nexus 6P, go with uh, Project Fi. If you want the M Moto G, go with Republic Wireless. Be sure to comment uh, your choice and why you chose it. Also. Um, I will have the links to Project Fies and uh, Republic Wireless's site below that like button. Uh, be sure to hit that share button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want to see more like it. Uh, this has been MTG23 and I'll see you in the next one.